an integrated approach to Sericea Lespedeza management. Trade names used in this video do not constitute an endorsement by the National Bob White Conservation Initiative. Sericea Lespedeza is one of the most challenging invasive plants facing land managers today with widespread distribution throughout the eastern United States. In 2003, it was estimated to infest 8.3 million acres. In 1995, it was estimated to cost over $29 million in lost forage annually in the Flint Hills of Kansas alone. It is a long-lived perennial and is allelopathic, creating a chemical barrier in the soil to other plants. Sericea populations increase under common wildland management practices such as burning or mowing. Idle lands are at particular risk. Local populations have been documented to increase as much as 24% annually, demonstrating that Sericea lespedeza has the capacity to overwhelm natural systems rapidly. An integrated approach using a combination of grazing, mowing, or burning with herbicides provides the best control. Unfortunately, without the use of herbicides, Sericea lespedeza cannot be effectively managed even with the use of herbicides because of the tremendous seed rain and long-term persistence of Sericea seed in the seed bank, total control is unrealistic. Herbicide products with the active ingredients triclopyr, triclopyr plus fluoroxapyr or metsulfuron methyl have been shown to be the most effective on Sericea lespedeza and depending upon the application method and timing, less damaging than other herbicides to some desirable forbs. Research from Missouri across multiple years found triclopyr plus fluoroxapyr to provide the most consistent results. Be sure to read and follow the label directions for any restrictions related to haying or grazing. Triclopyr and triclopyr plus fluoroxapyr are effective anytime sericea plants are actively growing up until bloom stage. Application rates need to be increased as the growing season progresses as instructed on the label. Sericea lespedeza plants are the most susceptible in the spring following full emergence when root reserves are at their lowest. Label recommended herbicide rates for triclopyr and triclopyr plus fluoroxapyr are lower early in the growing season, making applications more economical. Metsulfuron methyl is best applied when sericea is in full bloom. Application at this time of year reduces off-target damage and is more effective than triclopyr or triclopyr plus fluoroxapyr. To make herbicide applications more effective, burning, mowing, or grazing is recommended prior to herbicide treatment, exposing regrowth for more complete herbicide contact with the plants. Grazing can be problematic because cattle generally avoid grazing sericea except seedlings or when emerging sprouts are young and tender, which they quickly grow beyond. Grazing can reduce surrounding vegetation, which allows for better herbicide contact. As an alternative to cattle, sheep and goats will graze sericea and can keep plants vegetative for more effective herbicide action. Grazing by itself will not eliminate sericea lespedeza, but generally it doesn't increase under grazing. Mowing following spring emergence reduces sericea plant vigor and repeated mowing through the growing season reduces stand dominance, but neither control sericea. If follow-up treatment by continued mowing or herbicide treatment isn't done, Sericea will quickly reclaim any dominance lost. If you can only mow Sericea lespedeza once per year, the best time is to mow when it is in full bloom to prevent seed set. Prescribed fire is recommended to remove residual litter and old stems, permitting better herbicide leaf contact. Spring burning increases Sericea plant vigor, aiding in herbicide uptake when applied, and it is also thought to stimulate Sericea seed germination, helping to deplete the seed bank. A word of caution, spring burning without a follow-up herbicide treatment is not recommended. Recent work with Sericea lespedeza control has focused on growing season burning. A study conducted in Kansas comparing spring, midsummer, and late summer burning showed significantly reduced Sericea plant dry matter weight and seed production with annual late summer burning. The long-term impacts on the Sericea population are unknown at this time. Unfortunately, high stem density infestations of sericea don't burn well during the growing season due to a lack of fine fuels to carry a fire. Unburned areas can be mowed. Conduct the burn when sericea lespedeza is in full bloom. Following the burn, mow unburned areas of sericea infestations. Allow 8 to 10 inches of regrowth 
than treat with herbicide. When burning isn't an option due to regulations or landowner discomfort, mowing sericea in the bloom stage, followed by an herbicide application on 8 to 10 inches regrowth, will have similar effects. Late summer burning or mowing give the added advantage of lengthening the herbicide application season or providing a second opportunity in case the preferred spring application window got past you. Broadcast herbicide applications are the most efficient, but don't provide any protection for other desirable broadleaf plants. However, if the infestation is severe enough, broadcasting may be your only option. Spot spraying is more time consuming, but is targeted and results in less damage to off-target plants. Take home points for sericea management. Combine grazing, mowing, and or burning with herbicide applications to be more effective. Spring burning stimulates sericea lespidiza. Wait until full emergence for herbicide application. Mowing and grazing are more stressful on sericea plants following full emergence. Apply triclopyr or triclopyr plus fluoroxapyr in spring and summer up until bloom. Increase application rates per label recommendation as the season progresses. Apply metsulfuron methyl when sericea is in full bloom. Use late summer burning or mowing in combination with herbicide for better sericea control. Either method also widens the window of opportunity for herbicide treatment. When spraying regrowth following grazing, mowing, or burning, allow 8 inches or more regrowth, but be sure to spray before first frost regardless of height. Early detection is the best defense against a Sericea lespidiza infestation and plants should be treated as soon as they are detected. If you already have a Sericea infestation, integrate grazing, mowing, or burning with herbicide application for best control. Continued monitoring and repeated treatments for several years will be required to keep Sericea at bay. Controlling Sericea lespidiza will result in more and higher quality forage, better soil health, and better habitat. For more information on Bob White Quail and the National Bob White Conservation Initiative, please visit our website at bringbackbobwhites.org.